was Schroeder top, or uh, was he in the Area 51? Uh, I don't remember. I don't remember, but I believe it was if you made any PGR for... I believe he was in the last PGR, though. Oh, okay. Because I'm thinking, because Ascension was a C2. Yeah, okay. But there was, like, so you're saying he could have been here, too? I don't think he could have. If he made PGR last time. Right. Okay. <laughs> but, but what I'm saying is, if, 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 is that really a C tier if, if he has I don't know. I'm you got me. Someone's more informed than me, and I'm sure that person is living it up in the chat, because we know how great it is to be right. Now that person's feeling it, too. Oh, so that, right. now chat, Congrats we've to you, person yeah, in we've, chat. We've tricked you, chat. Now you agree with us. <laughs> 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 All right. So Marvelous Marco having a little bit of difficulty getting around here for X-Men, of course. Oh, oh, oh nice. Nice. yeah. That was the slow. I thought that was like the, the big brain mash from Marco, like not mashing. Shutter is actually not PGR. Yep. He's not. So yes. Then how, so then how's the sense of Well, I. You know what? Oh! Down air. Kiraflex, get back in the black. Yeah, Kiraflex, you take that, Kiraflex. Alright, man. So two stocks of these. Kiraflex dropping shields a little bit early. They're going to get put by the up beat. Now, again at the ledge, this is the issue with Bob, right? You're such a big character, it can be annoying to play against him. Right, as right. Just because you get hit by him it's so hard. Okay, well, there's another boomerang. The parrying his own grenade. Very, nice. very good. Yeah, that's not dope. Oh, Marco! Look at this guy. Look how much interaction is going on right now. All I see is bomb grenade. Like, bombs being thrown. Okay, that was sick. There? Jab lock, as fast, yo, Marco is going in right now. This is the Toon Link gameplay that we've been waiting for. You know? Everyone talks about how this character could potentially be the best Link, but there's not really a Toon Link out there doing it. Kind of I, feel like the, I feel like the Link that would do it is Zen, and well, he doesn't for some reason, so... <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Alright, double up till into up air. I don't know, I guess I still have PTSD from this character because of uh, that's what uh, this character was doing. Some pretty wild things back then. But there's a turn out the gyro. Gyro's now out on the field. Look at this. Now Kiraflex is the one who's driving right now. Marlos Marco has the lead. Kira, you gotta do something. He tried to side you right there, though. What I'm wondering is if, uh, if in fact, Kiraflex does get two stocks, if he's gonna go hit so he can, like, try and box out uh, Marvelous Marco. But right. his roll around not gonna be a very smart option from Kiraflex. Are we gonna chase on with another grenade? Shark in the landing, but okay, Kiraflex is above him now. That's a scary spot. Okay, yeah, just gonna run off to the right, put yourself in the corner, eat that instead of trying to like fight your way into the neutral. Right, 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 right. Okay, bomb into forward air, 115% on Kiraflex. Approaching a lot of kill options for Marvelous Marco. Kiraflex, all that stalling actually paying off the end. He's starting to get something going, he's gonna kill him. Uh, he's gotta do something to kill him here, that's it. Boomerang into the forward air. That confirm still works. Still so good. Dude, I think all his confirms still work. Yeah, everything's pretty much the same. The bomb timer, that's, that's the big thing in this game, right? The bomb timer is like five full seconds. That's a long time. It's a really long time. Like, if you think about Youngling's bombs, you pull them, there's a little bit of time, and then it explodes. So, the, the bomb itself, you know, first of all, bomb recovery works. Mm -hmm. Toon Link bomb recovery, you have to pull the bomb, like, super high up, or else you just won't get exposed. And so, like, the bomb change kind of really sucks between, like, that's probably, like, the biggest downfall of the character. If the bomb timer was, you know, shorter, I think the character would be insane. Okay, well, Kiraflex sticking it out with Rob. No character change, no state select change. I wonder what the game plan is going to be from Kiraflex. Someone, like, trying to sit back with using a, a little bit more projectiles, and I think when it comes to projectile war, Marvis Marco is winning just because he has access to it a little bit more. Like, yeah. he's going to be able to throw boomerangs a lot quicker than, like, Gyro is going to be coming out or even the laser. Yeah, Kiraflex is trying to play, like, the, the zoner versus zoner matchup, but I feel like he should be playing, like, he's the anti-zoner versus the zoner. Because his zoning is being countered by everything that Marco is doing. Like, you know, boomerang goes over the Gyro. You know, arrows go over the Gyro. You throw bombs over the Gyro. The laser isn't really strong enough to do anything other than, like, knock bombs. Yeah, not to mention it's like slow enough to so easily shield it, but the gyro does in fact act like a wall when it's placed in the correct right. position. We saw it right there at the ledge, it made it a little more difficult for Marco to escape the ledge. But here we go, what's going to be the hero spin? Ooh, okay, robot spin. Robo arms. Rotor arms? Rotor arms. Spinning arms. <laughs> Spinning arms. <laughs> Something like that. Let's call that the, the whirly dirly. That's Ooh. what that is. Okay, 
Uh -oh. so now we're starting to see yeah. like uh, that the gameplay that you were talking about, you know, being more of an anti projectile. And then trying to box him out with the bowler, especially at this ledge. Ooh, it's good. That was huge. That was huge. He wanted to like get off the, uh, the platform and like grab immediately. Uh -huh. But he like didn't I think he like missed his fastball or something like that. And then he just like ended up air dodging right into him and he upbeat again. So he's gonna end up taking that stock with the back air, evening it up. Zero percent each. Okay. okay, there you go. I wanna see more Nair. Let's see some more Nair. Like the Kulik does a decent job of like defending against the angle that Nair comes out at. It's kind of like one of the biggest things to get this match. Okay? It's kinda of hard for Bosch to get his combo starter going. But like Marvel's Marco just isn't really having to try too hard because the Purify can leave his own air out. Okay, but up air is gonna catch. Sam has been pretty back and forth. The sense is pretty much even. Oh, oh the, the gyro connecting once again. That That's hit? I I think uh Pureflex like pushed it. That hit him so far away. Oh, I wonder if he like extended his hurtbox to the forward air. Yeah, potentially. Alright, then Bob's really bad dad, it's raining right now. And there's that that gyro acting as the anti-projectile. You see it stopped the arrow that was uh being put out by Marvel's Marco to try and pressure. Yeah, it feels like that SD led to so much, you know, momentum in Pureflex's way, but hopefully Marvel's Marco is good for him. That bomb fair is gonna do it for him and maybe he can steal some of that uh, steal some of that momentum back from him. That's right, we saw a falling up air on the picture. Oh I was I was Positive we were going to be able to convert off that, but the spinning arms on the side of the list aren't going to enough to do it, but the gyro snipe is enough. You got to, like, he catch you, get a forward air. You got to do something there to defend yourself against the gyro. I think he was still in lag from the directional air dodge. Was he? Did he directional yeah. air dodge? Okay, then that makes sense. Okay, 1-1. One, one. That's right. On a Kalos. Kalos? This might be a pit switch, though. Stop, unless he's feel, unless he's feeling himself. Okay, he's feeling it a little bit. Yeah. He's yep. like, I got this. Look at this. That's the, that's the cure flex death there. That's when you know. When you got the glasses showing like that, you don't see any eyes. That's, that's like, SoCal focus. The, the SoCal focus. <laughs> I'm with that. <laughs> All right, here we go, Carlos. See, that's what I'm talking about when I talk about like these guys or Marvelous Marco interacting a lot. He literally just jumped over him and just did falling up there. What team that just approaches the falling up there? I think it's, well, especially like on these taller characters, it's going to be a good option. Yeah, definitely. And there's, there's not a ton that Rob can do at a shield against it. You know, Nair at a shield is uh -huh. one of his faster punishes, because the thing is, is that, you know, up there is pretty safe. But more than that, Nair just comes out a little too slow and the hitbox is too high up unless he, like, does, like, super short hop immediate fastball or something like that. That's true. Okay. Well, looking for these projectiles to land, but the laser's gonna stop the bomb. You throw another bomb. Wow, you're right. That bomb lasts forever. It's that was the same bomb. It's literally five seconds. You can, you can probably drop and catch the bomb, I would think, ten times. Okay, jumping over the gyro. Gyro's gonna be out of play for just a few seconds. We're gonna see down throw. Oh, reach okay. in! That was this time. So Marco had been like doing kind of a slower mash that Kiraflax had been managing to get on like the second try each time. That time he looked like he didn't mash at all. <laughs> he did no mash. <laughs> the greatest of mashes, no mash. Yes. Okay, flying oh. pressure with the getting that. That extended F tilt. That was F yeah, F tilt is super, super good. F tilt, like, he, it does like an arc behind him as well. And right there, calling his movement out with the forward air. Marco off to a hot start. There's gonna be a bomb into up B. That's 21%. That's pretty good for Toon League. That's an easy 21. Okay, Yo. getting a pivot grab. And now Kiraflex finds himself having to recover high, already being at the mercy of Marvelous Marco's edge oh. play. What? I think the gyro actually saved Marco. So the, the gyro actually, I think the wind box pushed it away. Mm. That makes sense. Okay. Oh, the explosion. It hit his shield and the timer was still ticking down and it exploded just off of his shield. Oh, big brain plays. Okay, but the bomb gonna put Marco off stage along with the forward air. Directional air dodge to center stage. Oh, there's another directional air dodge from Kira. That's gonna back, back throw. Kira, he's gotta get back to the stage. He's gotta take advantage and get, Mar Look, dude, he needs like one grab on Marco and he can kill him. But yeah, Marco but is just playing the anti-grab game so well. He's, you can't grab him if, oh, he sniped oh, him. He sniped him. God. Oh my God. <laughs> That is insane. That is insane. I have never seen anyone do that in my life. He killed Rob off the top with his own gyro. That's, that is a testimony of this set. Like Marco has been making use of Kiraflex's own projectiles and tools against him. And now Kiraflex back against the wall, last stock. 
in this match. Is he gonna get it? Oh, oh he is gonna get the up air afterwards, though. Okay, maybe that's the, that's what Curaflex needs to kind of get the momentum into his court. If he can get some damage going, then, you know, it's not gonna be too bad for him. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh. Yeah, we're, we're waiting for it. We're ready for it. Right we need now. more of that SoCal focus. All right, okay, and that focus is gonna put 32% on to Marvelous Marco. Yeah, to me, SoCal focus means drop down so three times. While whipping. Huh. Oh, punish? Yeah, actually, that was like the first time that we've seen Kiriflex throw out down tilt, it felt like. He's not really down tilting a lot. Not that he gets many chances. Marco, yeah, Marco's like, playing in the air a lot. Like, we've been seeing him do... Okay, he tried that to was, stick him between the gyro. That was the opportunity to down tilt right there. Instead of Nair. Oh, he's gonna shield the Nair. Okay. Yeah, throwing out the boomerang, and now we're gonna see more projectile game. And as you can see, like, Marcus Marco has been doing a good job when it comes to the projectile game. In fact, he's usually coming out on top, Z dropping the, the grenade and just trying to make it so difficult to tell where this little link is going to land. Down tilt, not able to get the grab afterwards. Marcus Marco, now he's getting some more damage. He's got the advantage, he's got the stage position. Kira Flax gonna fight right back into him, though. This is how Kira needs to play. He just needs to be on top of Marco because Marco's options out of shield, you know, they're decent. But as Rob, you're not going to get any mileage unless you're on top. Just watch that high recovery. You saw what happened when last time. True, Kira Flex is only at 63%. You know, he still has a little bit more room to work with. He can still afford to make one or two more errors. But at the same time, Marvelous Marco sitting on two stocks still, 120%. And Marco has momentum. He has the control of this game. I'm just saying Kira Flex is camping right now. And he's down a stock. Yep. With three minutes left. With three minutes left on the stock. Not that, not that he has like easy ways to get in on Marco. When, oh, oh, is that going to be it? No, no, no. Yeah, oh, okay, no, he had no jump. Okay, Kira Flax, 76%. That's not that much. That's like one Rob combo. We see a couple of down tilts. That could definitely be an easy 76%. You can see the crowd, or you can hear the crowd going crazy in the back. Oh, sniping with the laser. <gasps> the bomb. Not going to allow Marco to get any kind of setup off of that. Maybe a tech chase would have been possible, but all that prevented you got to think about these trades, too, especially with, like, these two characters. Okay, getting a couple down tilts. Oh, the footstool! I love that footstool. He didn't do anything off of it. I think he could have immediate down air, and it would have been true. <gasps> okay, oh, what's the punish? What's the punish? We're going to see a forward throw? Just forward throw. We're taking stage positioning. Marvelous Marco just needs that one hit. He's searching oh. for the forward air. If he can get a bomb here, if he can get a boomerang at close range, he could get... He recatches it, and there's, oh! and there's the fair! That was actually back there, and he takes it! Oh, no. Kira Flex is reeling from that L, but what a hard-fought victory from Marvelous Marco.